Today was our last cool day. From this weekend, we begin a warm and sunny stretch. The city started on 13.5 and made it to a top of 17.8. Outside now, it is still sitting on 17 degrees. Heavy rain overnight eased to scattered showers through East Gippsland, delivering a further 10 or so millimetres on top of those 24-hour totals of up to 100 millimetres. There are a number of flood warnings in place through Gippsland and the northeast. Major flooding is is possible along the Snowy River from Basin Creek to Orbost. Taking a look at the satellite, a deep low pressure system which brought us the heavy rain and showers will gradually move east tomorrow. A high which is sitting south of Tasmania is also moving east, extending a ridge over Victoria this weekend. So the temperature will gradually start to rise, increasing day by day. We'll begin in the mid to high 20s across Victoria by Sunday and as we get into Monday, most parts of the state will reach the 30s. It'll be hot in the north, climbing closer to 40 degrees. Around the nation tomorrow, sunny in Brisbane, a top of 30. Cloudy in Sydney, sunny and 29 degrees in Adelaide and drizzly at times in Hobart. But for us in Victoria, showers and drizzle continue across Gippsland, easing during the afternoon. The Central and Otway Ranges could also see some light showers tomorrow morning. The rest of the state is partly cloudy. The north gets a little more sunshine than most. Closer in, partly cloudy over the suburbs. There is just the slight chance of a light shower over in the northwestern suburbs tomorrow morning. Otherwise, we're dry with southerly winds, but the sunshine will help our temperatures to climb a little higher than the past few days. We're in the low to mid-20s. A partly cloudy day in the city tomorrow. 12 degrees overnight before a lovely top of 23. Sunday is mostly sunny with a top of 25. Plenty of sunshine on Monday, heading for a top of 32 degrees. Tuesday is cloudy, 23. There's a 50% chance of a light shower on Wednesday, 22. Partly cloudy, 21 on Thursday. And Friday, partly cloudy with a top of 29. Finally, that summer weather has arrived. It looks like a great weekend, Mike. That's terrific. We're losing you to maternity leave. We're going to miss you. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm heading off for... Um, my break and to have little bubs. <laughs> Tim says to get some sleep. Thanks, Thank you, no, Tim. Good, good advice. OK. Seven News can tonight bring you a behind-the-scenes look at a Hollywood film shoot here in Melbourne. Filming has begun in the northern suburbs on family comedy Woody Woodpecker 2. Hidden away in Heidelberg, Victoria's very own slice of Hollywood. <laughs> Remember me? Woody Woodpecker 2 is the latest family comedy from Universal Pictures and streaming giant Netflix. The blockbuster production bypassing LA to instead shoot in Melbourne. This is a world-class crew generally in Australia. Here in Victoria, uh, one of the things that we wanted to do was double the United States and it's a camp movie, summer camp movie. So we've got all these deciduous trees, and it feels a little bit more like North America here in Melbourne. It's also a huge win for the local industry. Of the 200 people here, about 197 of them today are local Victorians. Among the many faces on set today, Federal Communications Minister Paul Fletcher. The film, the 27th, to be funded by a Commonwealth grant. It's all about attracting these global productions, which are major economic enterprises, big job generators. Woody Woodpecker 2 is just one of a number of big name productions heading for Melbourne. Actor Charlie Hunnam is currently shooting Shantaram in and around the city, while Robbie Williams will be here early next year for a film based on his life. But it's also about, you know, great Aussie scenery being seen on screens around the world. Uh, the tourism benefits of that are very significant. Woody Woodpecker 2 will fly onto screens in late 2023. Jodie Lee, 7 News. And that's 7 News from the team. Have a great night.